if you were tried almost all the custom homes which have the stock experience pixel experience then you must try pixel os for sure pixel os also has all the pixel features which you need in a custom home based on pixel experience but it includes some bit of extra features also all the useful things are already included and in the terms of stability a lot of users love this room the new update is what we have installed already which have the august security patch as you can see 5th of august 2022 i think so i forgot about the new update so let's just take a quick look at the changes which we found here first of all as it's a pixel os so yes don't think about that we might have launcher pre-installed or something like that it is pixel os so all the pixel features are already included I'm using it in Mi 11X which is basically Poco F3 or you can consider it as Redmi K40. What we have is the stability is quite good. Right now this build is not officially supported for this device unfortunately but it's okay. But still stability is quite good in the terms of performance. This room is kind of really good if you compare it with the redmi note 8 yes redmi note 8 does not have good performance at least for me but in redmi note 10 pro or with me 11x things are pretty much good let me show you some things here for example if you move on to the security section if you are a user who love to use a pin lock in your device lock screen now you have the option for quick unlock so basically it will give you the option for unlock automatically when the correct pin or password is entered which is kind of really good if you don't want to use a pattern lock and you want to use this so whenever you enter a correct password you don't need to type enter you don't need to click enter and it will automatically unlock we also have the scramble layout option available which will give you scramble pin layout when unlocking device so there's some of the use features are already included and other than else things are basically same this is about the change which we have in the security section you can see about the screen lock one more change which we have here is in the lock screen you have the option to hide power menu on lock screen this feature is also quite useful which means if you have enabled the lock screen password pin or whatever you're using your power menu can't be accessed which means you'll not be able to boot into custom recovery which is actually a good thing if you concern about security and privacy related things so there's some useful things are already included and if you're talking about some security related things if you move on to the privacy section you have the option to bypass one thing which will basically give you the facility to simply take screenshots in android apps in those areas where screenshot is restricted like most of the cases if you move on to google chrome and check out the incognito mode you can't take screenshots by default but by enabling this feature by enabling this option from here you'll be able to take screenshots i also made a video on this topic a lot of time ago and i got very good amount of views so you can go and check it out if you want to take a look at those things also in some cases or in some devices you might also see google camera pre-installed so this is what i liked a lot if i'm not wrong even the redmi note 10 pro also has a google camera or maybe miui camera one of these cameras is definitely included and both of these cameras are kind of really good so yes go and give it a try moving on to some other options which are included for example the gaming dashboard as expectedly it's already included it does not give you the modified gaming options it is a simple pixel go game dashboard and if you just don't hate this thing or if you just don't play much games or if you don't care about these things it's already here battery section also has same kind of things no major customizations for you to do for example we only have the battery percentage dated things you can't customize the battery indicator style and some things like that but it's also not a big deal as it is a pixel os kind of a pure pixel and which will not give you major features so yes don't worry about these things too system etc has the other useful options for you for example if you take a look at the gestures we have the quick tap to start actions which is also available in pixel devices so which means whenever you tap back at your device then as you can see quick tap detected which will give you the facility which will give you the option to take screenshot or do any other task if you want to including that you have these options but other than else we have the option for swipe to screenshot as expectedly so that's not a big deal you can use this thing most of the devices or most of the custom homes have this feature so that's not a big deal one-handed mode etc system navigation is what we have the gesture indicator 
this is the option available you can simply disable the gesture indicator but one thing which i've noticed if i disable this gesture indicator the keyboard space is still there so yes this is might be a disadvantage at least for me but it's okay if you are not into these things other than else you can see invert navigation bar layout we have uh, the advanced restart options and some of basic stuff is already here this might be a good choice for you if you were looking for a pure pixel based custom home which does not have major features but good stability and good ui basic good ui go and give it a try these were things i just wanted to let you know and i hope you like this video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video until then goodbye